This place is called San Pedro de Atacama. It is ancient and it's the center of the desert. Atacamnos, the native inhabitants, have lived here for centuries. And today, this oasis town has about a thousand inhabitants. The rest of the people come from all over the world and some of them stay here for good. Desert freaks. That's how the original inhabitants smilingly call the people who stayed here. The atmosphere of San Pedro is uninhibited and friendly. Today the place lives on tourism. During the high season in December it can get quite busy here. There is a small art market in the centre with artefacts typical of this country. Many allegedly Chilean items come in fact from Bolivia where they don't cost even half of the price here. If you want to be sure you buy something really Chilean, go to one of the small craftsman's shops. In the backyard you can make sure that the wool the goods are made of really comes from these happy llamas. If you want to, you can learn something about the art of weaving and knitting too. It's a special kind of handiwork. I knit socks and small bags from llama wool with five cactus spines. Then we sell the products in the shop, and that's how I support my family. You can use alpaca wool too. The colors are natural. And you can use thick or thin wool, but it's always important to have five cactus spines. Naturally, what you choose to buy depends on your taste. From here, you should definitely take a trip to gain some knowledge. The Chilean landscape is extremely attractive, and the Salt Lake of the Atacama Desert and other curiosities around the oasis are really worth visiting. Hotels on the margin of the oasis fit into the environs. The building materials as well as architectural style resemble the surrounding landscape and culture of this area. After the Gaucho crash course, you should go on an expedition on horseback. Though people are a bit uneasy at first, they enjoy this oldest kind of transport after a while, through a landscape that is many hours of flight by plane away from civilization. But you don't meet only riders in the desert. A new and popular sport here is sandboarding. Though a climb in the driest desert in the world is tough and difficult, you are rewarded at the end by a wonderful downhill run.
The Atacama Desert is a paradise also for hiking and mountain cycling. However, the trails are demanding and you really get into a sweat. Such physical effort is not possible without sometimes straining your muscles or giving problems to your discs. But you will quickly forget about such small matters when you are back in the town of dust. The atmosphere in Estaca is very relaxed, like every evening in fact. The visitor, enthralled by the local musicians, can forget all about his or her dinner. The desert doesn't encroach, rather the vegetation disappears. Then there is the moment when nothing grows there whatsoever anymore. Chile means the end of the world, and on your way to the sacred volcano Toco, nobody would deny that. Not only the view from nearby the summit is breathtaking, you really are without your breath here, the air being so thin that is. You ask yourself why the others have come here if not because of this view. This idea is called backcountry snowboarding in English. It means that you have to carry all your equipment up the mountain on your back. It's not that easy considering its height of 5,600 meters. There are no toes here and there is less oxygen here. Therefore, this place attracts mainly experienced sportsmen who can appreciate the beauty of the landscape, but mainly the height of the Andes. And of course, it's also the risk that makes it so attractive. Everything is sacred in Atacama, Chileans say, and after all, life is a great dance we all take part in.